Testicular cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in men between the ages of 15 and 35. Too many men wait months before they seek help, and of course that can make a big difference when it comes to treatment and outcomes. Dr. Frank McGeorge here with the warning signs every man needs to know. The most common symptom is a painless lump in the testicle. Very few men with testicular cancer feel pain initially. Now, other red flags can include testicle pain, heaviness or swelling, a dull ache in the groin area, or any tenderness or changes in the male breast tissue. Now, there are symptoms that survivors say you shouldn't ignore. Two years ago, Fred Knight was about to propose to his girlfriend, Kate, when he felt something strange. I was at work and felt a sharp pain in my right testicle. and. Never felt something like that before. Fred went to the ER and then a specialist who diagnosed him with testicular cancer. He needed surgery to remove one testicle, but first the couple had a decision to make. We knew that kids were in the future. We wanted that, um, but we were forced to think about it right then and there in that doctor's office. We do recommend all men who are going to get treatment for testicular cancer to bank sperm before they start on treatment, just to have that as, as a backup. When the cancer came back just four months later, doctors recommended chemo. The chemotherapy for testicular cancer is very effective. It's one of the cancers that you can cure completely with chemotherapy, even if it's spread to other parts of the body. That was the day I went to go get my, my port, and um, I took a picture of it. I was like, oh, geez, it started coming out. Chemo made Fred lose hair and gain weight, but as he wrapped up treatment, he decided to prioritize his health. I found a local bike shop that had a massive, massive bike for me. Fred now rides about 6,000 miles a year. In April, he and Kate eloped to Yosemite National Park. Don't worry about wedding planning. Hire a photographer, go next to the waterfall, and say our vows to each other. After a two-year cancer journey, now it's for better, not for worse. The healthiest I've ever been in my life. Now, on average, men wait about five months before reporting having any symptoms of testicular cancer. During that time, the cancer can spread, so it's really important to see a doctor right away if you notice any of those red flags. Back to you. All right, Frank, according to the National Cancer Institute, the five-year survival rate for men diagnosed with testicular cancer is about 95%. So that makes it one of the most treatable types of cancer, especially if you seek help early.